Baby, you're the finest, the finest I see. Oh, baby, you're the finest, the finest I see. Gotta do laundry this weekend, can you tell? I'm wearing this shirt again. Really brings out the bags in my eyes. Oh, such dark circles. From not sleeping correctly. Or the correct amount of hours. I'm going to sleep a lot tonight. Eventually. Probably. Maybe. So when you see me leaving Facebook wall posts at 5.30 in the morning, you can get on my case about not sleeping. Hey, it's Friday. The week's over. Pretty much. And yeah, I'm still here. But not really doing much work anymore. I think I have uh, taken care of all my work for the week, although I see some email came in. Oh, it's just email I'm ignoring. Somehow I got set up on, oh no, what did I do? Okay, we haven't frozen yet. Oh gosh. I really get worried when Outlook starts not doing anything, and then I worry that it's going to spread to the entire laptop. Somehow I was put on these social media watch lists or alert lists or something. I have no idea why. I think there are people in this company that think I'm some kind of social media maven. Not a guru, because I would have social media in my title if that were the case. But probably because I have over 500 followers on Twitter, somehow that's like that's success. So I get sent these emails every day, which I have to filter into some mailbox and ignore because they really don't affect me at all. I always love how anytime, anytime somebody says something about semantic, I gotta react. Well, no, I don't gotta react because nobody even thinks my product, nobody even thinks of my product when they think semantic. They think antivirus, and that's about it. Never mind, and their backup is a billion dollar product, as we keep hearing. Today I learned that they wanna bring some patent lawyers in and stick them in the offices across from me. I hope they enjoy the loud music I play. It just seems like a bad idea, but nobody runs this stuff by me. I also wonder if I should have tried to go for one of those offices. I'm in an office, I'm one of the few people in an office that isn't on the outside of the building, which means has a window. I am told that this office is slightly larger than every other office. I don't know if I believe that or not, but I do have a lot of crap in here which mostly keeps me from moving. Also the fact that there are a lot of people who are in cubicles who probably want me in a cubicle, so I try not to call attention to myself. But I'm on a lot of conference calls, which are very noisy, so it's just as well that I have a door to close. What was I going to talk about before I even started all this? I can't remember now. Another example of how I haven't gotten enough sleep is I did manage to mow the lawns last night, and they look much better when they're mowed. They're still just awful because I have new holes in the lawn. Holes actually being dug by a squirrel. In the eight years I've lived in Minneapolis, I have never seen a squirrel digging holes in a lawn. I mean, how bored do you have to be? I don't know. Are they trying to find something? Or are they trying to stash something? I couldn't figure it out. Fortunately, it didn't look nearly as bad after I kind of kicked the dirt back in the hole because I mean, there was still some grass, but now there's a place where there's no grass. There's so many places where there's no grass right now. It's just very sad. And But I mowed and mulched. But when I started mowing in the backyard, I was like, wow. Look at that gasoline shooting out of the... Why is it doing that? Oh, I didn't put the cover on. So I didn't put the gas cap on. And when you don't do that, this little waterfall action happens where gas shoots out. And So after being so proud of myself for not spilling a single drop of gas when I filled the tank up, it was all over the place after I ran the mower for about a minute without realizing that Really got to put that gas cap on before you start. Didn't explode or anything though. We just put gas if we were very annoying. Again, that's probably lack of sleep, or just being old. Maybe I'm just starting to make old man mistakes. I do feel pretty old, but not so old that I won't put myself out there on uh, the internet for the young people. They won't watch, but YouTube has this deal where they're like. 
They use magic to tell you what your demographic is. My demographic is firmly 30 and above. If you ever go and look, and I think those are all public stats. You can go click on the YouTube video, and then you can get stats for any video. And I, in a way, it makes sense because I think the only people that would watch this are people who like are genuinely interested in me, the person, and that would tend to lend themselves to a certain range uh, out of high school. And let's face it, if there were a bunch of 12-year-olds interested in me, I think we'd all be a little creeped out and wondered what was wrong with the world. Not that we're not wondering that already. Which leads me to this terrible thing happened this morning, early this morning, last night. And you probably know what it is. It's about the guy that was at the Batman show and he shot a bunch of people. And it's terrible and it's awful. But it's one wacko doing stuff. So just let it let it leave it at that don't try to extrapolate from it don't try to get political with it don't try to advance a cause with it don't talk about it over and over in fact you don't even have to leave one of those all my hopes and prayers deals we know okay it's like those people who are speechless but they are speechless because they tweeted the word speechless it's like if you were really speechless just don't say it just shut up Shut up, which is what I ended up tweeting. That was my grand statement. Just too many stupid political people on both sides. And what you really should be doing is trying to keep crazy dudes from getting to that point. I don't know how you do that. Especially because I'm a big advocate of giving everybody their freedom. So you're free to do anything you want right up until the point where you shoot the first guy. So how do we get to that point without letting them get past it? I don't know. That's why I'm not running for office, I suppose. But uh, let's talk about guns. Uh, let's talk about weapons. Uh, let's talk about... You know, let's not. Just drop it. But we have to talk about it. If we don't have this dialogue, how will we ever improve? I don't know, but you're not capable of having the dialogue that's going to have things improve anyway, so... This is one where we should probably just cut it off before it starts. Kind of like every thread in the W, right? Let's talk some more about atheism, shall we? No. Actually, since we're at the W, there are a couple people who I ignored. Let's talk to them. First of all, you guys confuse me because every time you reply to the old thread, it puts it above the new thread, and then I get confused and I put the video in the wrong place. That hasn't happened yet, but if it happens later, that's why. But I wore the Rikishi Fatu shirt. And Cerebus said, so Rikishi is not PH balanced? And that had something to do with the fact that his name was spelled P-H-A-T-U. But I, I don't get it. Maybe it was just an attempt and it didn't work. Kind of like where you thought that dude was spamming when really he like was just doing searches on Mexican Coke and came to our site and was really excited and wanted to give us his opinion on Mexican Coke. And then he never came back. But he didn't look like he was selling anything, so I don't know where you got spammer out of that. I mean, that's why I responded to him the way I did. But sometimes late at night, Cerebus, when you leave responses that make no sense, I just assume you've had a snoot full. Especially when you never revisit them, because you may not even be aware that you've posted them. But since you're watching this, go back to that Mexican Coke thing and, and explain yourself, man. You don't have to, of course. You've sent me plenty of presents, so you can do whatever you want. Uh, Pie Man says, I honestly thought you were wearing Guy Fieri on your shirt. I'm looking at it right now. That is not Guy Fieri. Although, I guess he would wear a necklace like that. But, well, I guess he would wear shades like that. I guess he could kind of wear his beard like that. No, I'm still not seeing it. Sorry, dude. Let's uh, see if there's anything on the actual new thread. I see Cerebus again, so late at night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mike says, uh, I did get a Taco Bell bong last night, and I didn't hear it. And that's totally reasonable. It plays into the whole old man thing. So at least you knew when 6.38 was, even if I didn't. By the way, it's 7.12 p.m. right now and 87 degrees. With all your talking lately about how useless recappers are, is this your way of squashing our hopes of your recapping raw 1,000? You have read my mind, Cerebus. That's not cool. You've got to do it. No, it's totally pointless. I will make my jokes and save myself a lot of time not having to write down every single move that happened in a match. 
Everybody wins, except the people who hate reading my tweets. God bless them, they're still following me though. Thank you guys. Um, oh look, my time is up, and my week is up. So let's uh, reconvene on Monday, and we will see uh, what exciting stories I have of the weekend. Probably none. I do think there's a Pink Mink show on Sunday though, so go see Pink Mink. If you're not in Minnesota, buy the Pink Mink CD. Come on, do it. Do it. Um, that's it for me. I'm CRZ, as you know. You can contact me at all the usual places. Go to CRZ.net for the full list. I will see you Monday. And uh, until then, I do still love you. And thank you for watching. And, 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 and. Raw 1000 on Monday.